Hi, fourth grade team. Miss Curtis here. Welcome to writing workshop week one, lesson two. Our teaching point for today is that essayists polish up their writing by rereading their work and using a checklist to revise. I want to remind you guys about our amazing opinion essay checklist that we were familiar with earlier on in the year. And I want to just take a ch chance really quickly to go over what we know we should be looking for in our own opinion essays when we revise. So we want to make sure that we clearly have a claim and three reasons. Like always, based on our boxes and bullet plan outs, that's how we flash draft our essay. So we should always have a claim and three reasons. We have our lead, our transitions. Oops, for some reason my pen is not here. <clears throat> We have our lead, our transitions, our ending, and our organization. We also have elaboration that we're going to be looking at, right? How do you elaborate on those reasons, on those on the evidence, so that it matches your claim? We have our crafts, which again is stepping up the rigor. And we always have spelling and punctuation which we know I do not grade for, but at the end of the day, it's still really important to understanding your essay. Okay, so we've gotten a chance to look that over really quickly. And I have here, which is, I have right in front of us, an example of a student essay from this week. And I'm gonna go back and look through the essay, rereading it, making sure to reread it and thinking about all of the different sections of the checklist and whether I have completed that, I'm starting that, or I haven't yet done that, okay? So let's start reading. In is TikTok good for kids? Jade is begging her parents for the app, but they think it is a bad idea. Who is right? Ooh, that's a good lead. Kind of hooks me in there. I think Jade's parents are right because they want Jade to stay a good kid. Also because she has to be a certain age. So I know already that this student is making it clear which side they agree with. They, this student definitely agrees with Jade's parents and she's got two really good reasons to support her thinking. Jade's parents are right because they want Jade to stay a good kid. For instance, really good, very, a very good transition word transition words in the first paragraph of the letter that is going to Jade says, you are a good kid, but when you see other kids making videos with swearing and bad behavior, you could start to get the idea that that's okay. Also on Google it says, TikTok can be safe for kids 13 years and older. This shows that TikTok is a bad influence. Hmm. Jade's parents are right because, so here's our second reason, I love it. We've got separate body paragraphs. So I know this student has structure down pack, organization, right? Jade's parents are right because she has to be at an age to get TikTok. For example, in the second paragraph of the letter that is going to Jade, it states, it says kids should be at least 16 to use TikTok. Also on a Google, on Google it states, TikTok is intended for 13 plus users according to the app's community guidelines. This shows that at a young age, you should not be on TikTok. To wrap things up, this is how Jade shouldn't get TikTok. It could hurt her and she should not look forward to it. Hmm. So I know that that conclusion kind of wraps things up, but definitely could be lifted a little bit. So I'm going to go back and look over my opinion checklist and I want to think about the lead. I wrote a few sentences to hook my readers, right? So I want to hook my readers perhaps by asking a question. Oh my gosh, look at that. She asked a question, explaining what the topic mattered, why the topic mattered, telling a surprising fact, or giving background information. So I know that this student went out of their way to hook me in with a question. So is she writing a lead like a fourth grader? Yes, she is. I stated my claim. Did she state her claim in her intro? I think Jade's parents are right, very clearly. Good job. Transitions. I used words and phrases to glue parts of parts of my piece together. I used phrases such as, for example, another example, one time, and for instance, 
I had noted before that I liked, for instance, the student also used the word also. So I definitely think that there's very transitions going on here. So I know that this student already has a good lead, has very transitions, and very clearly is stating their claim. Let's lift this up a little bit. And the ending, I wrote an ending for my piece in which I restated and reflected on my claim, perhaps suggesting an action or response based on what I had written. So we had said before when we were reading this conclusion that this to wrap things up statement is a really good way to start your intro, but that there could have been more done, right? This student could have um, reflected on their claim or perhaps suggested a call to action. So I'd like to say that this student is starting to do it like a fourth grader, right? Write an ending like a fourth grader. Organization, I separated sections of information using paragraphs. We stated when we were reading it over, the student clearly has an intro, a conclusion, and body paragraphs separated. So definitely this student is getting a check on yes for organization. Second one, elaboration. I gave reasons to support my opinion. I chose the reasons to convince my reader. Something that I noticed is that there was only two strong reasons, but we all know that there should always be three strong reasons to support your claim, right? We, all, we do boxes and bullets to make sure we've planned out to have one claim and three strong reasons. So the student is starting to, but needs to make sure to have three strong reasons, not two. I included examples and information. So the examples are just really good quotes coming straight from the article. Information to support my reasons, perhaps from a text. So sh this student has definitely got all of this information from the text my knowledge or my life. So could this student have stepped it up a notch and also introduced information from their own knowledge and their life? Totally. So I want to put starting next to examples because it was just quotes from the text, but it could have also been some background knowledge um, and information from their own life. Craft, I made deliberate word choices to convince my reader, perhaps by emphasizing repeating words that would make my readers feel emotions. So I like the fact that it made it clear in body paragraph one in the conclusion that this student would possibly be messing something up in their own life by joining TikTok and being influenced by other kids. So I'd like to believe that they're starting to work on craft in the fourth grade, which we always know is stepping up the rigor. Um, did she use, he or she use figurative language, precise details or facts to help make a point? No, that's something that, that could definitely be worked on, right? So last but not least, um, I want to go over to the last page of our checklist, which is the spelling and punctuation, which is always really important. A trick to this, guys, is that you can go straight up here in your essay, tools, and you can click on spelling and grammar, and click on spelling and grammar, and you can check over. Your document looks good, so this student definitely had spelling and punctuation down packed, right? That's the beauty about being on Google Classroom is that you can do everything, including spell check. So guys, we got a chance to look over the student essay and now I've left him or her some feedback. Let's take a look at what I wrote. So I said, great job hooking the reader and providing a claim. Good job using varied transitions. Nice work, including two strong reasons. Next, let's make sure to have three reasons to support our claim. And next, make sure to reflect on your claim or give a call to action. So this student's definitely got very transition. Hooks the reader, has two strong exam, two, re two strong reasons, needs a third one, and also needs to revise their conclusion. That's how you should be revising using the checklist for this essay. So let's go back, guys. Now dive right into your essay and make sure that you're going back to polish up your writing by rereading your work and using a checklist. Till next time, enjoy.